Who the hell is Dino Ricky? Dino Ricky for the NES. Now, this game was released by Hudson Soft. And I've actually got a lot to say about this little prehistoric platforming, side scrolling, shoot 'em up. Well, let's talk about the story first. Well, first thing I want to know is who is Dino Ricky? Good question, Sid. Dino Ricky was modeled after the Japanese professional wrestler Ricky Shoshu. Shoshu. I'm not good with my Japanese. So what's the story? Somewhere in the land of the dinosaurs, a hero known as Dino Ricky sets out to battle against the beasts of the ancient times and prove man's right to survival amongst evolution. That is such a bad-ass storyline compared to the actual gameplay. So you are Dino Ricky, the child who never stops smiling. I'm not joking, look at him! From the time you start playing, he's just always smiling. The only time he changes his expression is when he dies. I understand his pain, having to constantly smile. It's horrible. Okay then. Personally, I thought you just loved being here. Oh yeah, that's what it is. I just love being here. Anyway... So you control Dino Ricky from a top-down perspective as the screen scrolls towards the top. Dino Ricky must shoot the enemies in his way, which makes it a side-scrolling shoot -em up But you must also leap over pits and avoid obstacles, which makes it a very weird platformer side-scrolling shooter hybrid. Does this work good? Well, not really. This game is extremely difficult, and that mostly comes from this crazy platforming and shooting combination. You can collect power-ups, which do give you some new items such as a fireball or a boomerang, but once you get hit, which will happen, you immediately lose your power-up. There's also angel's wings, which let you fly, and a speed boost to help with the platforming section, but nothing keeps this from being a tough game. Also, if you're shooting at an enemy, the power-ups can actually block your shot. One thing that does make it a bit easier is the checkpoints and your life bar. It's not just the simple one hit and you're dead, but if you miss a jump and fall, that's immediate death. So, how is the level layout? Well, you have three one-stage levels with a boss at the end. Each of them have checkpoints, but the fourth is a four-stage level with no checkpoints. And since I do love boss battles, let's talk about them. The boss for level 1 is a flame-spitting pterodactyl. Level 2 has a flame-spitting T-Rex. I think the only thing the programmers could think of for boss projectiles was fire, because the boss of level 3 is a flame-spitting cobra. And for the final level, it's basically harder versions of the first three levels. They even have the exact same bosses. The final stage is the same design of the second level, and the final boss is a giant insect, which has a new ability of summoning smaller versions of itself. Once you finish, if you can actually finish this game, well, you go back to level 1. Yep, it's one of those games with no true ending. Once you beat the final level, it just takes you back to the beginning, only it's harder. That's even possible with this game. Hopefully there are at least some good cheat codes for this game. At the game over screen, which you'll see a lot, trust me, just press up and start to continue. Yep, that's all this game has. Pretty pathetic. 
Wow. Well, I actually got one of my co-workers, David, to play this game. So, let's see what he has to say. Hello, David. <sighs> it's a piece of sh Okay, thank you, David. Thank you, David. Um... <laughs> He's right, though. You know what I just noticed? You've reviewed two side-scrolling shooters. Uh, was that on purpose, or just strangely coincidental? Actually, it was coincidental, and it worked out perfectly. I know I said that the difficulty of Captain Skyhawk was... legendary, but the difficulty of Dino Ricky is... double legendary. This is seriously one of the hardest games I've ever beat, and when I finished it, well, if you can call it finishing, I didn't feel like I had accomplished anything. I was really stressed and very frustrated. The amount of things you're expected to dodge is ridiculous. And some of those jumps are nearly impossible. When I first started playing, I thought it was fun, but after about 15 minutes, I was just about ready to shut it off. This game is just way too hard for it to be fun. Captain Skyhawk is a good example of how to make a side-scrolling shooter that's extremely difficult. Dino Ricky, on the other hand, is not. I'm Joshua Gillespie, and you know what I've noticed? I've reviewed a lot of games for Sega Systems. A PlayStation game, and now two Nintendo games. I, I wish I had a different company system that I could review a game for. You know, not a Sony or Sega or Nintendo game. Look, Josh, the games on the other systems, they're just not worth your time. Just stick to the basics. That's what makes the best reviews. Well, I'll see you later. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe he's right. Maybe I should just stick to the basics. Just don't understand how reviewing a game from another system could be such a bad thing. I don't know. I just want something different. I want more.